So this is the OnePlus Nord CE2 5G. There's a lot to talk about when it comes to the phone and what I really like is that it covers the basics really well. Anyway, let's jump into this full review of of course the OnePlus Nord CE2 5G after about, you know, two months. Hope you enjoyed the video. So let's quickly look over the specs. The OnePlus Nord CE2 5G comes with a Dimensity 900 5G. You get either 6GB of RAM or 8. 128GB of UFS 2.2 memory is for both of those versions as well. You get a 4500mAh battery with of course that 65 watt charging as well, which is included with the phone. You do have also micro SD support. The display is a 6.43 inch AMOLED display with of course a 90Hz refresh rate. Of course you do also have that handy 3.5mm headphone jack and the main sensor is a 64MP main sensor with a 1 over 197 inch sensor size. So not the biggest out of there, but of course you are paying far less. The ultra wide however is an 8 megapixel sensor so that's quite low with a 119 degree field of view and sadly you also have a 2 megapixel macro sensor which shouldn't be there. Video recording is max at 4k and 30 frames per second. So let's talk about the device and who this device is for because while there's a good amount to like there are some parts where I think they could have done better here. To begin with let's talk about what I like. One of the things that straight away stands out is the display. It's a pretty solid AMOLED display for the price and because of that 90Hz refresh rate with the combo of Oxygen OS it runs smooth. I haven't had any bad experience where for instance I had lags. Now when it does receive Android 12 this might change because Android 12 is quite buggy at the moment but that is more down to Android and I don't know what will happen if you get that update but so far my experience with Android 11 has been really smooth. Then of course, set software experience. I think OnePlus still does this really well and I know there's a lot of controversy about the fusion between OnePlus and Oppo, but they always had this connection. But from what I've heard, OnePlus will stick to Oxygen OS and only have ColorOS in China. I still find that an odd choice to have too, but if you are worried about this, then I would say you don't have to. And just like I always say, the experience has been really solid and that is what matters. For me it doesn't really matter what skin it is, unless of course I miss some basic features like the gallery app. That one is really important for me and lucky enough Oxygen OS does have that. Now what is it like with the camera? What to begin with? It's not going to blow you away and I don't think this is the best sensor out there, especially the 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor that for me is too low and you can tell the colors can be different between that and the main sensor and of course it is a softer and less detailed image as well. So it's all down to the main sensor because let's be fair that 2 megapixel sensor just ain't it. Well I think in general it's a fine main camera. The colors are pretty nice, if you do want 64 megapixel shots you can. Video recording is decent as well and overall it does have some capabilities here. I think colors are also pretty good as well. So let's look at some shots and be sure to give me your opinion about it as well.
So I would say the biggest complaint that I have is the camera setup. It's not a terrible complaint and I don't think the camera sucks by any means. I think it's pretty solid. However, it is of course because of that ultra wide where I feel like they could have done a little bit better here. That 8 megapixel sensor and that softer shot and that softer shot just doesn't work that well for me. Less so for the main sensor though. I still think that one is pretty fine, especially for daytime use. It works pretty well. Sadly, however, they also chosen not to include dual speakers. That for me is also a shame. I asked OnePlus why this is or a person from OnePlus and they said they wanted to focus on speed and definitely in terms of speed it is really solid but overall I would have liked to see dual speakers on this device. So I was asking the question for who is this phone? Well, if you want a good day to day experience with a clean and good software, then the OnePlus Nord CE2 5G without a doubt is a solid phone, a good display to watch content on, with smooth experience to text, call or whatever you do in your normal daily life with a pretty decent battery life that makes it about till the end of the day depending on use. If you are using it more heavy then definitely it's gonna struggle a little bit. Though of course if you then want to charge it you do have that possibility with that 65 watt charger included. So is the OnePlus Nord CE2 5G worth it at the end? I would say yes. It's a solid phone and you should definitely put it on your short list if you are looking for a phone around this budget. There are some definite things to like about it. The display is good, you have the 90Hz refresh rate, you get a quick charger inside. You get of course the 3.5mm headphone jack that I truly love. So overall I would definitely say that this is a solid contender and in terms of design I think it has grown on me quite a bit. I don't think it's the best looking design but I like it. It's I don't see anything wrong with it and it definitely looks better than the OnePlus Nord CE. So the, basically the first one. Anyway what do you think about the OnePlus Nord CE2 5G? Let me know in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe, hit like and do everything that YouTubers ask. Either way, hope you enjoyed the video and talk to you guys in the next.